a heavy set wearing dark clothes. Face hiding in the doorway across the street. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, kind of taking it back in time here, playing Arma 1, known back then as Armed Assault. Um, Bohemia Interactive, same makers, Flashpoint, and so forth. This one's playing the Life Mod. You guys may have seen plenty of Arma 2 Life Mods. Arma 3's out now. There's communities working on Arma 3 Life Mods and so forth. But, um,. Honestly, we took it back to Arma 1 while we're still working on Arma 3 with uh, Wolf County Life Project. So, at the moment, it's just two of us on. So, uh, he probably wants to register a car. Anyway, the name kind of says it all. Life Roleplay. Uh, what? His helicopter is stolen. Never mind. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Ah, uh, yes. In conjunction with the original Bay City community and Wolf County Life Project, we've just kind of come together and put the uh, user joined your channel. Put Arma One back up. So you see here, I'm in a police car. He's taken off out of a chopper. He owns the car shop there. Uh, one of the guys that are online. So a couple things you can do is, uh, let me pull over here so I don't crash or take up the roadway. A couple... Th yes. A few things you can do. Sorry if I get cut off. I'm, like so I said, I'm online. Uh, red kind of someone let me know. Will you? I bought one that didn't spawn in. User disconnected from your channel. What you can what you can do is you can buy the bar. Of course you can sell stuff there as people come in. You can make money off of them. You can the spawn points messed up or something. Own the taxi shop. What's that? I bought a red conoseg yesterday and it uh, didn't show up and it took my money, so I don't know if the spawn point was messed up. If you see a red conoseg, someone let me know where it is, will you? Yep. Probably just not even in the mission no more, but it's what it is. Yeah, probably not. Just have to look around here, but I don't see it. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyway. You can own the taxi shop. Uh, you can own a car shop. You can own a bar. You can own the gun shop. Uh, let's see, over here. You can own the tow shop. You do get a tow truck get rid of cars and so forth the police will call you to get vehicles moved off the roadway and so forth and then of course you can role play um, repairs and so forth and charge people uh, you guys need a hand with the PD thing in this I can help out but I'm going to try to play the as much as I can alright uh, what else we do have a fire department though on fires in Arma 1, there is no fire scripts that automatically start or anything like that. Hang on one sec. Um, but the medic does play a role. Medics can heal. So, and I don't think the police can. I played this mission back originally with Bay City way back in the day when they got their start. So, you can also do illegal activities. All the red squares here that don't have anything marked next to it. There are houses that you can go purchase. There's a food shop. Looks like McDonald's. Uh, there's a city hall over here. I think you can go and vote and so forth. You might have a mayor position. I can't recall. Uh, let's see what's next. Uh, you can buy new vehicles, whatever. It's best to role play down at the car shop. Um, you can sell drugs. These money things are ATMs. You can farm... Uh, farm up some hay, make money that way. There is the PD over here. Gas stations, of course, you do have to fill up as you go. The job center will give you, like, your tow truck and so forth. I think you can be a bus driver. You can go out and go fishing, though. I don't know if it works in this mission, so don't quote me. There's a hospital. I think, uh, I believe it was set up when you die. You respawn over here at the hospital. Plus, there's an ATM. 
full-blown airport. Uh, we have a drag strip in here. All the original stuff if you played with Bay City back in the day. Uh, resource, uh, selling resources. That is things like uh, when you're gathering hay. And over here, you can mine steel. And of course, you can do this as a group effort and so forth. Uh, the This border here, back in the old Bay City days, uh, this was considered Mexico. Uh, honestly, we're probably not going to leave it split up as another country because it was always ca causing issues. Uh, there is a Coast Guard HQ, even though we don't use Coast Guard on this. Um, what else? There's an off road shop, and of course, you have your weapons. You do have to go over to the DMV here and get your license. You spawn down here on this side of town, another McDonald's, another ATM. So, yeah. Oh, you can come down here and buy some uh, muscle cars, too. So as far as the cop car goes, and I'm right outside the taxi shop right now, and right outside the bar. So they are pretty much a full-blown, you know, functional police car. You have your Co2 lights. Of course, you do have sirens. You have directionals also. You, you can lock and unlock your car, which is highly recommended that you do that. The guy that's online right now doesn't even know I'm recording, so... So anyway, yeah, you have your directionals and so forth. Um, like I said, you do have full-blown siren. You also have air horns. It. There we go. And a fully functional radar unit. So. I want to find a good spot to put my chopper where it'd be safe. I will can lock it. What about the chopper? I'm trying to find somewhere to store here on my property where nobody can get it where it's now unlocked. Well, probably back where you had it within the gates, I'm imagining. Or can anyone open those gates? No, but they can still walk it through my shop on the back. Tell you what we can do. Good idea. So, like right here, you have the, uh, the McDonald's food shop. You do need to eat and drink. Put a gate bar gate in here. I put a couple of signs in front of it so nobody can get it from this side. I can pay you for it. You need me to come put signs up around it? No, uh, like a bar gate. Put some signs so people can't access it from the other side, right? I'll have to come over there and see what you're talking about. Give me a minute, I gotta get some food here. So... Alright, let's see... Get over here... Now, the, the pricing... The pricing's kinda... Weird, you know, like a cheeseburger is eight dollars just for a cheeseburger. Um, and the thing is, when you start getting hungry, you might need, you know, ten cheeseburgers to fill you up. So, of course, on that end, that's not most realistic. But the point is, if you're a civilian, is to go out and role play. Do either legit careers, make money that way. You know, if you're in a tow truck, you can charge people for, you know, if they run out of fuel or the repairs. Um, the police will pay you for the services and so forth. So, or then, of course, you have your illegal activities. And you will... You can do jail time. There is a fully functional jail. There's four cells in it. And when you get locked up, there will be a predetermined amount of time with the laws and so forth. So, the reason I'm putting up the video is, like I said, I'm part of the Wolf County Life Project um, community. And I'm helping out right now with Arm 3, doing all the textures and so forth. You get double bar gate. Uh, if you get a single one from your checkpoint over, like you just came in through there, we'll put one across my door here. Uh, I'll show you something I want to do with it. You want a bar gate across your gates? 
no, no, in here. People can access this at any time. If we put a gate right here, it'll stop people from coming back here, right? Oh, okay. So just a single bar gate with the controls over here in the wall, if I could. All right, let's see. We do have the checkpoint builder built in. I got money to get money. Uh, no, I, th I, th I should be good. Thing is, though, I don't see. Ah, oh, here it is. Holy shit, 1650. Like right about here? Yeah, just so nobody can access it. Like, a gate, as long as the gate goes into that wall that nobody can access it, then I'm okay. So I can access it from this side, so I'm just going to check the other side. Out. Well, they can oh, still can walk still by it. Oh, I'm just... I can probably put like a sign up or something. I don't, I don't, I don't think yeah, Sids can sure. grab that sure. stuff. Sure, let's uh, go check it out. Let's put a sign there. I'll go try it. So the police have this tool for, um, you know, controlling of accidents and so forth. But couldn't anyone access that bar gate? But uh, yeah, well, I'll show you something. I'll just trick that. So this guy here, D-Manning, he was uh, a big member over in Bay City. Um, Bay City kind of... Where's the open thing? Which part do you look at? Kind of fell through the cracks, just based on... There's too many Arma 2 communities. Like Wolf County Life, Life Project has an Arma 2 mission we could use, but again, there's too many Arma 2 communities. Mm, okay. And Arma 1, the Arma 1 mission... A, uh, like a, a barrier, like a, not a barrier up this way, to the wall, that way nobody could access it, right? Can be close enough to it. Oh, so you need it moved up a little bit more. Yeah, but he put the barriers in on this side, so people couldn't access it from this side. The barriers would keep them away just enough so they couldn't highlight it, right? All right, let me, User let me see here. Hello. What's up? Hello. Guten Tag. Um, let's see. Checkpoint build. I got two yeah, teams. Big score. Thirty-one minutes. A little bit. Well, can do too, since I don't you really use the showroom. We can actually fire wire this right across. User left your channel. Can you access that? Well, hell, that's, that's practically hanging over your lift almost. You know what? Um, there's fire bar across the door. Move all that stuff and just barbed wire across the door and I'll give you some money. So barbed wire across this entrance? Yeah, I don't use it anyway. You don't? Leave well, well, what about the cars that are in there? Yeah, I'll leave it there. It's just for showroom purposes. Okay. You guys are just a phone call away anyway, so... So as I was saying, D Manning here, he uh, he owns the car shop currently. So you have a little service bay back there you can nice. do the work on. Um, he can purchase the cars, he can lock down the lot and so forth. You know, it's too bad there's not a key code on those bars over there. Or is there a key code to the drum that rolls up? Nope, nothing is key code. It'd be uh, nice if, uh, be nice if uh, Pro can script it, so it is. 
I think the only way Pro is going to do any scripting is if there's a lot of people playing this mission. Oh, sweet. I was almost broke, too. That's all the money I got, buddy. Well, I didn't need that much, but... No, that's fine. Yeah. I, got, I got a lot more in my bank, though. Yeah, so I'm just trying to make it look populated that way when people see that they start inquiring there. Yep. So you see here, a few of the cars... So you talk over here, the other keys, you should uh, send the information to this one, because he probably doesn't have it, do you? Yeah, I don't know if anyone's read it in that other channel or not. So he set a few cars up just for display purposes. Hit the lights on that card, or I love the lights on this card. I thought we were in the civilian channel. What's that? And the lighting effects in the Armor 1 VIX are much better than the Armor 2 VIX that I've seen, so. Armor 3 is definitely helping with that, but... This is not the... Oh, hang on. I see what's going on. A few other things that you have for, say, on the police side. Now... User joined your channel. Let's see here. You have the crime records. The want it menu. Actually, want it menu is not working... Let's see, stats, that just gives you what your hunger and thirst is, uh, time, the laws, uh, who else is on, crime record, this here, uh, an officer can input the information, like on here, D Manning was doing a car registration. And the car registration I just typed in, when you buy a vehicle, it produces a unique registration ID. All right. What else? Weapon registrations, I believe it will self-populate that when someone buys a weapon and registers. I can't recall. So, let me back up out of here. Ah, I wish I could play. Fucking, I gotta get ready bad for that. Bad version. Bad version. Of open mm -hmm. AI, AL32 DLL. Yeah. Yeah, um, I had that problem and so did Smith. Yeah, so did I. Uh, the The file that you need's over in my Teamspeak channel. In the other Teamspeak, hopefully you can grab it. I don't know. Let me go over there. Which Which channel is it in? My channel. It says you drive up. You know, you see on the radar. It says I'm doing 62. It is in miles per hour in this game. Uh, I was coded for miles per hour. Is it in the description? Uh, right click my channel. And then go to the User file browser. From your channel. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, download that download file, file and put it in the channel. root directory of Arma 1. Like right where the exe file is. Can you do that, McAvoy? Because I already have. I already fixed my problem. No. How did you fix your problem with the that D sound mod line? Mod line? Uh, the link that Smith gave me. It's yeah. the same yeah. thing. Open AL thirty two D I went to some um, It it doesn't it, it doesn't, doesn't fix the problem properly because when you're inside the Vic you can't hear the engine noises. Uh the f I heard my car. Were you in third person or first person? Because we don't know. like me and Smith couldn't hear inside the car. Like it's silent like you're driving an electric vehicle. So but if you put that file inside your Arma one folder, it will fix that problem. And then you can get rid of that D sound line that you have in there. Alright, so we're over at the PD. What, copy one file and put it into one folder? I know that's. Very yeah, I know. 
Alright. So, just to show you the jail, it's the same jail we've used in Arma 2. Um, so, as you come in, you have cell A and B, tank A and B. It is a fully functional jail. Like here, open up cell A, close cell A. Over here is the tanks, which, whatever, same thing. Uh, you can open up all the control room intake door, pre-release, yard door, and the release. It's creates sally ports, so as they leave, uh, they can't come running back in. Better be leaving my car alone. We are not online. Not online. It's raiding. Can't do it. It's bannable. We already blew it up. That bastards. Yeah, I hit that invisible wall game by mistake. Seriously. So we have the parking spots. Uh, let's see. Let me zoom in on the map. Where are we? Ah, it doesn't show you on the map here. There's another building, some gearboxes over there for more weapons. Uh, that peak of the roof, you can see where my crosshairs are. It's another building with some other weapons and so forth that can be utilized. Uh, there's, a, there's a slick top cop car. Uh, we have a helicopter with a FLIR unit on it. Um, and just keep in mind, if you if you did join us, and this is it, this is the reason for the video, we're looking for people to join us, you can buy Arma 1 off of Steam for $8. So eight dollars—that's a very cheap game. Tons of uh, play time. Um, back when I was in Bay City, I probably played this game for—I'd say approximately three to four years. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I plan on having some more gameplay videos coming while people are online and so forth. Just record it as it happens. And uh, post them up. Check down at the bottom of the video, as usual, for the information for the server. Um, the Wolf County Life Project website, because that's where you're going to have to sign up just to join the forum. You go to the page, you click forum, just join the forum, tell them you're interested uh, in the Arma 1 Life mod, and we'll get you the add-ons and the password information and so forth. And you can get online and start playing. So other than that, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Please like the video, share it with your friends, and I really hope to see, uh, see you all online. And, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Thank <laughs> you.